Hi, I'm Bindu. Welcome to Beauty on the Radio. I'm co-founder of Vea Naturals, a natural skincare brand that combines the best of Ayurveda and modern day science. You can read more about us on our website veanaturals.com. It's spelled V Y A. This podcast is available on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Stitcher, Podbean and Spotify. Remember to subscribe to Beauty on the Radio on your favorite podcast platform so you don't miss a single episode. Today on Beauty on the Radio, I'm very excited to talk to Rachna Sharma. Rachna is an ex hotelier and is best known to a lot of people as a social activist and a philanthropist. Rachna, welcome to the show. Thank you thank you for having me over Bindu. I am so excited to be with you today. So Rachna, let's share your journey with our listeners from a small picturesque town of Kishtwar nestled in the Pir Panjal ranges of Jammu and Kashmir. Oh yes. <laughs> it is a beautiful place. Absolutely. I've been there. Absolutely it is. Bindu, it's just been so wonderful, you know, a beautiful journey of rise and fall, uh, which has elevated me uh, to a higher spiritual plane. I'm grateful to God for all the experiences, learnings, and celebrations of both. Um, hometown Kishtwar makes me practice humility very easily and keeps me grounded to my roots. Harvard gives me an intellectual platform for constant learning and developing new age competencies. Um, and Bindu, life has a plan for you when you're planning something else, and that's exactly what happened to me. Wanting to be an air hostess, inspired by a Grey Shoba magazine, and oh I'm sure God. you would know that. <laughs> <laughs> All of us in Jammu and Kashmir had access to everything via Grey Shoba and small towns. Um, so that led me to a hotel management college and hotels eventually, um, and uh, risk you know sort of rising the corporate ladder fast based on the merit and hard work um, made me feel that I had this inner urge to do something more with my life. I felt that I was capable of doing more and wanted to carefully select the next leadership role in my life. Um, and um, and how did that go for you? So hence moving on from promising um, and a confirmed successful hotel career, I courageously decided to move out in the vulnerable new industry in India called the social impact. Um, so I, since then, been to have experimented, you know, based on my gut and skill set and and knowledge. And it's been a mixture of failures and successes. Uh, but I'm very grateful to both because I feel it's made me more clear with my vision, and it has also given me a foundation um, gained on wisdom. Um, in this entrepreneurial ecosystem right now, which is fairly very young in the country, and I believe especially it's the you know the social impact uh, absolutely entrepreneurial system absolutely. Sure. As an entrepreneur, Rajna, I can actually identify with what you just said and shared with our listeners. You, I'm sure you have had your own failures and successes, and you are learning uh, as you're growing in this whole journey of being an entrepreneur. Right. Oh yes, plenty of failures and plenty of successes as well. <laughs> I, can, um, I can see that as this strong woman that uh, is emerging out of you and I am very proud of you. Thank you so much. And, and we also have a connection that we both come from Jammu and Kashmir. We live in neighboring towns actually, <laughs> we used to live in neighboring towns, yes. that's true. Isn't it? So yeah. aren't we leading the entrepreneurial ecosystem? Small towns where we have to really rely on Greshoba to this far where I'm sitting and recording this podcast with you. And sitting next to your natural uh, brand called Way of Naturals, I think it's fantastic. It just gives me hope that so many more women will get inspired by you and will do uh, innovation. Thank you for the words of encouragement. But let's remember, today is all about you. <laughs> okay. So let's move to the next question. All right. Okay. As a social entrepreneur and activist who has worked in the multi-billion dollar hotel industry, what does natural and sustainable mean to you? Oh, look, natural and sustainable in hospitality was to really retain the local culture and tradition, you know, which comes naturally to that geography because, you know, we all have hotels in multiple uh, regions and locations and a, a, a geography does impact, you know, it really matters. So it also meant, what it really meant uh, in our daily day-to-day -day operations was creating experiential experiences. Um, uh, you know, guest experiences, uh, which were local and sustainable. 
and um, as a human being personally I, in this social impact industry as, an, as someone who's social entrepreneur or a social activist I believe natural means um, remaining calm and being peaceful true yeah. that yeah yeah so I do recommend um, I do recommend meditation for mind I feel that uh, it's a natural remedy uh, like you are into natural products <laughs> it's a natural remedy for your brain and uh, it does create long lasting sustainable natural uh, impact on you and as they say a happy and healthy mind is a happy and healthy you yeah, absolutely right <laughs> so how to translate the natural world in your everyday life uh, uh, Bindu I truly believe in the power of yoga meditation and Ayurveda so I do yoga for my body, I, I do pranayama for my lungs and I do meditation for my mind um, and I do believe that um, it's very important to practice positivity and words are very important so I do choose my words with the greatest intent of uh, showing respect to the other person uh, in the toughest situation. I and of course for my skin care I must tell you that I love facials. And um, due to scarcity of time, I, I don't have the privilege to go to the salons every day. So I've replaced it now with Vaya Naturals scrub and the massage cream that you definitely sent me. And thank you so much for that gift. Thank you. Um, and can I tell you, it has replaced um, that ritual of going for facials and I now use it at home. Oh, wow. And I'm so, so proud of this natural innovation that you have done in skincare. And it's really making a difference to me, my skin, when I want to go out and look good in two minutes. <laughs> oh great, that's super to hear. For our listeners who can't see Rachna, let me share with you that she has fabulous skin and gorgeous hair. Thank you so much. So, Thank you. So, so which scrub did you use? I used the turmeric one that you had sent me. Awesome. And I am an addict to that now. Thank you. <laughs> Rachna, thank you so much for taking time out to come and talk to us and share the wonderful journey. And I did share a great cup of coffee too. So thank you very much indeed for having me with you. And uh, I definitely would recommend Vaya Naturals VYA to all the listeners of the podcast. And we were talking to Rachna Sharma, a social entrepreneur and a philanthropist. She shared with us her journey from a small town in Jammu and Kashmir, India to the corporate world where she continues to excel. So this was episode 18. I am Bindu saying goodbye from Beauty on the Radio.